make a video for the Gets Better project since ever since I heard first heard about it, and uh, I finally managed to get some people together to make from from the students at Lippa. Um, I wanted to include everyone and anyone who wanted to take part. So this video is made by and includes gay, straight, bisexual, lesbian, questioning people from all over the world uh, who are studying at Lippa. I'm, um, um, I'm uh, a 25-year-old singer-songwriter from Liverpool. Uh, I was 18, um, and like I was quite lucky because my mum and dad were, uh, you know, not as. It definitely wasn't a, a, a positive thing in any respect for them. Uh, I'm sure they wouldn't mind saying that, but it, it, it wasn't, you know, something truly, you know, negative. And um, I think that's a problem for a lot, a lot of people is their families, especially for what kind of beliefs they have and things. Um, but in terms of, as you get older, I suppose your friends, your network of friends, in school especially, you kind of are stuck there and you're stuck with the same people. And unfortunately people are, can be horrible, and can be harsh, can be, you know, really, really not nice. Um, but in, as you get older, you then not only can choose who you spend time with, but also people who maybe in high school are homophobic or are bullies, that people do change. So it's not only like you as an individual and how much you're more you're accepted, but also people grow up um, and people just stop becoming where they are. Some people don't know. You know, there's still like still a lot of people, a lot of adults that, you know, it's not the, the world which it could be, but it is a lot better. Um, especially I think it, it does get better the, the older you get. The hardest time for me um, being gay was probably in high school um, where it's often not just not just like on the, the gay side but if you're, if you're any way different um, then you, that can be a problem I think um, so it could be you know you've got a different taste in music or kind of because everyone wants to really fit in and people, I think, especially at that age, are quite scared of a difference, so that was probably the hardest time. Um, so, yeah, in high school, like, I went through the phase of, you know, being, uh, doing everything to deny that, you know, that I was actually gay and even was quite horrible. I don't know if you'd say bullying, but this other guy who, he was straight, but I had taking the guy for being gay, but it's really in all the things that I did myself I'd kind of click out on him. Um, so that wasn't the most fun time. Uh, but after as soon as I finished high school and then went to college, there's some kind of weird, even though it was in the same school and uh, it was like just in a building across the hall, uh, everything I kind of changed a lot. People suddenly after the high school and after um, that stage, then I suppose it then becomes a lot easier to be different um, and people, I don't know if it's just people getting older or having life experiences, but suddenly you can be a little bit more, could I say, a bit more quirky or a little bit more individual and people respect it a bit more. Um, I think one thing's really hard is when you are in high school or in school and you're, you feel different, it's hard to ever listen to somebody and think, who does say it gets better or something, and you think, well, no, it's not for me. But you can only say that just because it's kind of supposed to wait and see. Because um, it does. Oh, it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. It gets better. Much, much better. <laughs> I realised that I liked other girls when I was about six years old. I didn't know it had a label. I, I didn't know that there was such a thing as homosexuality. I, I thought I was the only person in the world who liked someone else of the same gender. As I got older I found and found out about homosexuality, I, I still didn't identify myself as gay. And, and when I did, I still was then set on keeping it a secret for the rest of my life. It wasn't until the summer when I was 21 that I actually did decide to come out as I realized that I had to and the only other option uh, would be to be lonely for the rest of my life. So I came out to my mom and some of my closest friends um, about three weeks before 
I moved to Liverpool to start Lippa, and, and that was the first time ever I said that, uh, the words I'm gay out loud. Here in Liverpool, I was still in the closet for about a year before I came out, and now I've also come out to the rest of my family. Uh, it feels great. They all love me, and they, they all accept me for who I am. So, picture this. This is the six-year-old me, thinking that I'm the only person in the whole world feeling the way I do. Now that's a really, really early age to be feeling lonely. And, and this is the 23-year-old me, knowing that that is so not true. This room is filled with people of all different kinds of sexuality, race, gender, religion, whatever. They're just people, uh, and they're all my friends. They've all played an important part in making it better for me, probably more important than they realize themselves, and I am forever grateful for that. The thing is, for these people to be able to make it better for me, I had to let them know. I had to do something, I had to come out to make it better for myself, and by doing that, I can also make a change and make it better for, for the people around me. It will get better, and you really should be alive to experience that. It gets better. <laughs> Later, I will find a way. But now it's hard to say it gets better. But no, it ain't a crying shame, and I'm not the same. So please don't pass the blame. It will get better.